All right, guys, we're here with the final week five uh, workout. I'm going to do a little demonstration. I'm going to be moving the camera around a lot, so try to stay with me. Um, so we, we added our fifth exercise to our posture series, which was uh, what, what I call angel circles. Now, we ended up doing a lot of variations of this. First, we got against the wall, and we, we simply tried to see if we could go elbows and wrists touching the wall. Uh, we just kind of got right here and feet out away from the wall. Tried to see if we could go elbows and wrists actually touching the wall. Then we'd see if we could actually, if we could pelvic tilt. And, and then again, try to see if we can go elbows and wrists to the wall. If, chances are most of you can't do that with the pelvic tilt and elbows and wrists touching the wall. Um, in which case you would simply get up against the wall and, and try to work your hands forward and back, trying to get closer and closer to the wall. Paying attention to keeping the elbows high. Don't let them drift down into here. If you can pelvic tilt and get elbows and wrists touching the wall, you got some serious uh, shoulder mobility. You're going to go up and down into our uh, angel circles there. Uh, one thing we did to kind of help, kind of great little exercise to help this is you go on the rail and I simply, I put my elbows, I rest them on the rail, just like so, and I forward and back, resting my elbows on the rail. That was really good. It took a lot of the deltoids out and put, um, put it right into the rotator cuff there. Um, so after we did that, we started with our first four exercise series. Uh, we started with our reverse lunge with a twist. So I got my ball, I'm standing here. I did my reverse lunge like we did last week, but now I'm going to add a twist towards and away from the knee up to balance. Step right back towards and away from that front knee and up to balance. 10 on each side there. Then I went into my push-pull rotations with a little weight shift. So I got my band. Now this can be done, it doesn't have to be elastic. It can be with, uh, if you have two cable attachments in front of you or behind you, you can do that. So I got my cable there, got my other hand here. So I'm going to shift my weight to the side that I'm pulling with. So in this case, I'm gonna go weight to the left. Weight over to the left, pull that, Get that shoulder back, I'm pulling, and I'm, I'm reaching down the cable. Like so, when I'm done, I still face the same direction. I simply switch hands. And now I'm holding with the, I'm still facing this way. Now I'm holding, I'm pulling with the right side. So I shift my weight to the right. That's going to put a lot more load into the core. So make sure we suck in the stomach nice and tightly. If you can pelvic tilt a little bit, that's a bonus. So after that, we go into our ball slams. So I, uh, get my ball. Now, if you're upstairs, you do not want to do this. This is a downstairs exercise. It's very loud. You're going to slam it down. Catch that ball. Slam it down. I'm sucking in the stomach. Pull it down. You might ask, why are you doing this? This is your generating power from the core, from the lats, all those things you use in the golf swing. This is a good, this is a good stepping stone to lateral slams and lateral throws. It, it's uh, you see more of those in your in the 2.0 class. So now we go into our posting the leg and punch. So we got our band around the knee. I'm going to post the leg, just like with the post and turn. Weight goes from right over to my left as I push this leg back, rotate the hips, and then I punch. I can have a band in this hand, 
attached over here to my side, post, turn, punch. Post, turn, punch. Now we progressed this exercise relatively qu quickly and that we went each week something new. This may be something you're still working on with just posting and turning with that weight shift. So don't rush into that. The punch should come at the very end. So there's four exercises. You rotate around those twice. And then we're going to go into our next series of four exercises. We got our side steps. So our side steps, we stood on our band. Now we're crisscrossing that band like we did before. But now we're going between the legs here, just like so, around the front, clip them together. All right, so now we're around the knees and feet. I'm going to add some squats, 10 squats. Now, when I squat, we, we don't want the knees to cave in. That shows a weakness in our glutes. We want to squat, keeping the knees out, up and down, 10 times. Then we're going into our side steps. Staying tight in the core. I got 20 this way, and then 20 back this way. Toes in. If our toes go out, we start hitting our hip flexors. We don't want those to be tight. We want these to be strong and these to be loose. Toes in. Next, we go into our jammers. Right here. Got our jammers. Got the bar in my landmine. Right here. Weight on the back leg. Right, this this back leg, I'm going to drive out and turn. Squat, drive out and turn up. Pivot this back foot as I drive out, shifting the weight right to left, driving from the ground up. Then I go to my step back slam to high pull. Got my cable, my rope. So this is, again, generating power from the core. But now we're going to add a little twist. We're going to lead with the lower body. Just like in the golf swing, we lead with the lower body. I'm going to step down together and in. Step down together and in. It's a slam to high pull. I step back, slam to the high pull. Step back, slam to high pull. You can alternate. Just like so, staying tight in the core, sucking in the stomach. Don't worry about a pelvic tilt there. There's a lot going on. Let's just think about sucking in the stomach. Next, we got our fourth exercise, our double-fisted punch slowly with a little lateral resistance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand parallel to this band. My feet are parallel to this band right here. I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to... Pelvic tilt, tighten those abs really tightly. I'm going to pick a point out that's right in front of me, and I'm going to go real slowly all the way straight to that point and back. Real slowly, straight out. Real slowly back. Staying tight here. As, I, as my hands extend out this way, that load is going to increase. If that's too easy, I'll just move out a little bit, make it harder. If you start to feel that in the low back, back off. Back that resistance off. Maybe stop the exercise. You want to feel it in the abs. Get those engaged. All right, guys. That's the last of the exercise. Stay tuned for a sixth workout that I'm going to send you via video. Uh, it's just going to be a recap of everything. Something that, A workout that you can take from here and do on your own. And uh, I'll see you hopefully for the 2.0.